Do you know what's happening in Tulare, California right now? I just drove there and took photos of what I found. The story ended up in Newsweek, but the photos were so graphic, they refused to publish them. Tulare County is in the Central Valley of California and has more dairy cows than any other county in the United States. But avian influenza has swept across the county, infecting more than 100 dairies across the Central Valley. I saw bodies of dead cows piled up alongside the road with no signs warning anyone of the biosecurity risk. And the air was thick and buzzing with thousands and thousands of flies. These cows were found outside of Mendonca farms and these cows were found outside of Landa Lakes Borges Dairy. And disturbingly, the first sign that a facility is infected is when the barn cats die after drinking the avian influenza infected milk. And now 11 dairy workers are suspected of being infected with the illness. The facility says they are following all state guidelines, but clearly those guidelines are lacking. They do not require any signs or barriers preventing people or animals from coming into contact with the infected bodies. The infected cow should also be sprayed with fly repellent to prevent flies from spreading the disease from farm to farm. Anya Radaba, CEO of Western United Dairies, did confirm that the cows did die of bird flu. She says there are so many cattle passing away from avian influenza that the rendering trucks are backed up, which is why the cattle had been left there for a period of time. But things could get much worse. Nathaniel Donne, director of Dairy Market Insight with the financial services company Stone X, says the state could be looking at more than 600 cases in the next few weeks. And the virus isn't acting like it did in other states. More cows are dying. Why is this? Could it be the heat or is the strain of the virus becoming more deadly? We aren't sure, but we need to mandate bulk milk tank testing statewide to get a handle on the virus. So are you now disgusted by dairy and don't want to support this industry? Well, you don't have a choice. Whether you only drink milk from small local farms or you don't drink milk at all, you are forced to financially support these large corporations. That's because 73% of dairy revenue comes from some form of subsidy. And that's according to a 2015 study performed for the dairy industry. And when these cows die from avian influenza, heat stress, or other causes, these corporations are bailed out by the United States Department of Agriculture's Livestock Indemnity Program. But more than that, the California Department of Food and Agriculture gave grants to these large dairies to put in these dairy digesters. One $2 million grant was given to FM Jerseys, which is also owned by the same owners as Mendoza Farms. And they basically capture the methane from the manure lagoons and then they can turn this into renewable natural gas used to fuel trucks. They then sell these so-called low carbon fuel standard credits to fossil fuel companies for these supposed reductions in their emissions. Some dairies that do this end up making more money selling low carbon fuel standard credits than they make by selling milk. In this day and age, should we be depending on cows for our fuel production and for our protein production? or should we redirect public funds to support animal-free methods of food production? Please let me know and be sure to like, follow, and share to hear more about this outbreak and more vet med news.